Ladies and gentlemen, Hector El Travieso Valdez. Valdez, 11 and 0, seven knockouts. Rios, 25, five and one, 17 knockouts. For Rios, most of his career fought at 105, 108 pounds. This is a 122 pound bout. Against soft competition as well. He's been, uh, he's had losses with fighters that he should be. So he's, he's been up and down in his career. But all in all, he is a tough fighter. Only been stopped three times in almost 30 fights. So this should be a good, good step up for Valdez, who's slowly been stepping up his competition, especially in his last fight. Valdez scored a six round unanimous decision win over Rafael Delgado on August 10th in Grand Prairie, Texas, on the undercard of Virgil Ortiz and Antonio Orozco. Yeah, their brother was undefeated, I believe, at 6-0. and So that's a good step up for a young kid that's undefeated as well. Little by little, you want to start giving them uh, different looks. And with a fighter like Valdez, you have to slowly uh, uh, get him into that because he is a fast starter. Nice combination there from Valdez. He started with a body shot, his left hook to the body, then over the top with the right hand. That body shot got him. This is another good body shot there by Valdez. Rio. Start of the second round of a scheduled eight at Super Bantamweight between Hector Valdez and Luis Rios. Robert Garcia and Valdez's corner wants them to stay patient, stay fighting behind the jab. The hook, the left hook is going to open up after that. Rios can't land with that overhand right. Valdez patiently looking for his spots. You okay? Let's go. Vamos. Rafael Ramos, a little warning there to Luis Rios. Rios in the white trunks with the black and red trim. Valdez in the black trunks with the glittering silver trim. One nickname, El Travieso, the other one, Pan Dulce. Any idea what they mean? That's why you're here, Sergio. <laughs> Travieso means menace. Pan dulce, that's an interesting one. It's a uh, sweet bread. It's a uh, sweet bread, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> Travieso was also the, the nickname used by the legendary Mexican fighter Jorge Arce, who won world titles in four weight classes. Valdez had a ferocious stomp, but the punch didn't land afterwards. Valdez tried to catch him with an overhand right right there. He, he set it up nicely to the body, a jab to the body, and came over the top with the right hand. But right now, Rios is still a little bit too fresh. He's still punching back like he did right there. So good shots to the body by Valdez. Valdez seeking more. Oh, nice right hand to the body from Valdez who has landed quite a few strong body shots through these first two rounds. It's the body shots that have been impressing me in these uh, two rounds of Hector Valdez. They're solid body shots. He torques his entire hip into them. Just really, really strong, powerful shots to the body. I would love to see him double up on those. Even though Valdez is a strong puncher, an aggressive fighter. He still faints. You know, he throws a couple, like that, right there. He still throws a couple foot feints, shoulder feints to set up the power. Nice right hand connecting from Rios, and then a strong right hand from Valdez. Good combination there from Valdez. Good shot by the right there. Start of the third round of a scheduled eight. Rio's got a little more body into that right-handed uppercut to begin the ground. Now another one. Good counter there from Valdez. 
a dangerous punch to throw to start a combination as a lead right uppercut. You leave your chin up in the air right there, and with a fighter like Hector Valdez, you know, he won't let you get away with it too long. Hey, Low blow there by I'm Luis out. Rios. Punch yourself. Está bien. You okay? Come on. Arriba. Okay? Another warning there from Rafael Ramos, the Hall of Fame referee. Valdez has not been very active of late in his career. Fought just once in 2019, once in 2018. 2015, 2017 had two quick wins over winless opponents. A one winless opponent and one fighter with one win. That's what Sergio was talking about. This being, you know, a step in the progression for Valdez. Yeah, the right step against a, a fighter with uh, you know, 30 fights. You know, good pop behind his punch. But yeah, inactivity will kill you, man. I mean, I've, I've been guilty of that, uh, Ryan, because uh, especially if you're a boxer, you know, when it comes to Valdez, he's, he's a boxer puncher. You know, I was more of a boxer. I could move around, and, and I needed that activity. But you could see that a little bit of rust. He's, you second-guess yourself, and it takes about two, three rounds to shake that, run, uh, that rust off. His last fight coming on August 10th. Valdez has been coming forward throughout. Nice left hand landed on the jaw of Rios. Valdez doing the, the right thing, but steady pressure. It's not really aggressive pressure, just mental and physical pressure, always coming forward, uh, keeping Luis Rios, Rios uh, fighting on the back foot. Valdez's corner was trying to get him to go to the body when he had Rios in the corner there. See, I like to see that. All of a sudden, he's just touching him. Valdez is touching him, looking for to set up the right body shot to get that leverage behind it, just like that. He lost his footing after he doubled up with the left. He lost his footing because he's, well, first because he missed, but he tried to punch too hard. You know, whenever you want to double and triple up on left hooks, you want to do it with speed and not power. Because if you miss with the power shot, you're going to fall off balance like he did. Good body shot right there. See, that's that's right, right there. He just touched the touch just to land that hard body shot to the liver. Valdez has been very effective with those body shots so far through his first two plus rounds. And by Rio. Yeah. <laughs> Another body shot. shot. That one hurt. And down goes Rios. A ferocious body shot off the left hand of Valdez. And that is it. Hector Valdez ends it in the third round with a vicious left hook to the body. And Valdez improves to 12-0 with his eighth knockout here tonight. Round to number three for your winner by KO, the body bride of Dallas, Texas, Hector Ramirez.